This is the third narrated presentation for Biology 101, Module 2, Chemistry of Life. Let's get started. This module focuses on the different properties of chemicals, such as acidity, measured by the pH scale, and on, and on water and its chemical symbol H2O, which is important to all to support all living things because of its properties as a reactant and a solvent. Water is one of the most abundant molecules on Earth and is the most abundant molecule in the human body. Water possesses hydrogen bonds that break apart other molecules. Water is an excellent solvent because of its hydrogen bonds ability to break down solid molecules. Water's hydrogen bonds also form between the oxygen and hydrogen of two different atoms, which causes water molecules to stick together. Water is known to be cohesive because water molecules stick to one another. Water is one example of a solvent, which is a liquid that can dissolve a solid. A solution refers to the combination of the solvent and the solid particles it dissolves called the solutes. Hydrophilic refers to a molecule that can be dissolved by water. The prefix hydro refers to water and the suffix philic refers to love. Therefore, Hydrophilic molecules are water-loving. Examples of hydrophilic molecules include ionic substances such as table salt and polar molecules such as sugar. Hydrophobic means the opposite and cannot be dissolved in water. The suffix phobic refers to fear. Therefore, these molecules are water fearing. Examples of hydrophobic molecules include oil and fat. Oil and water form two different layers because they cannot be mixed together because water is hydrophilic and oil is hydrophobic. Another universal saying, like dissolves like. The water droplet in this picture takes on a dome shape because of the cohesive property of water molecules. If the hydrogen bonds did not exist between different water molecules, this droplet would not remain in this dome shape and would disperse to become flat. Temperature is a measurement of the vibrational energy of molecules. If a substance is cold, the molecules barely move and typically remain closer together. If a substance is hot, the molecules dance around and push each other around. This occurs in steam. Adding heat energy will cause the vibrational energy of molecules to increase. Thus, applying heat energy will raise the temperature of the molecules. Acidity is measured by the pH scale. The pH scale is a measurement of the concentration of free hydrogen ions, also called hydronium ions, dissolved in a solution. The number of hydrogen ions is always inversely proportional to the number of hydroxide ions, which are negatively charged molecules comprised of an oxygen atom and a hydrogen atom. The lower the pH is, the higher the hydrogen ion concentration is in a solution. The higher the pH is, the lower the hydrogen ion concentration is in a solution. This chart shows several common solutions and their pH values. Anything with a pH of exactly 7 means the concentration of hydrogen ions is equal to the concentration of hydroxide ions and the solution is said to be neutral. Anything with a pH below 7 
is acidic and has more hydrogen ions than hydroxide ions. Conversely, anything with a pH above 7 is basic or alkaline and has more hydroxide ions than hydrogen ions. Neutralization is the process of mixing an acid and a base. When acids and bases are mixed, the hydrogen ion combines with the hydroxide ion to form water, H2O. Salt is the combination of any two ions. Table salt, sodium chloride, is only one example of a salt. Buffers are any molecule that can be added to a solution to help maintain an appropriate pH range in a solution. Bicarbonate is the most common buffer in human blood, which must remain at a basic pH of 7.4. Buffering capacity is the measurement of how well a buffer can perform this task of stabilizing the pH of a solution. In review, this narrated presentation from Module 2 discussed water and many of its characteristics and pH.